Hello everybody, so as I can say, welcome back to the railway. Welcome to another reborn video. Today I have a locomotive which I, ha which I haven't seen run for four months. Uh, probably since June last year, but thought. Yeah, June last year. So that's what? Eight months? Eight, nine months? Yes. So that locomotive is this. Yes, it's 34066 Spitfire. Now, I said to you that the motor burnt out, which was June last year, uh, and thought, oh, I could not believe it. Um, so, in November last year, in November October last year, at some point, um, I gave this locomotive to DJ DJ46, he took it to the front of shop to get it fixed, and I have to say, it fixed it, and shoved it to them, to the front of shop. And to do with 456 as well uh, for taking this away and fixing it for me. Uh, so let's get onto the track and test it on, the, on my layout and back to where it should be running on the line. So let's go and get started. So here's a battle of Brussels class uh, Spitfire number 34066 down to the track and ready for some running. Now, first of all, I'm just going to turn the car on to make sure that it is running. See where we're going. Still moving. And the controller is all the way down. Okay, that's weird. Uh, I think this might have more power than it, and I think it is. And this controller here uh, does seem to be starting over one volt for some reason. Doing this on a zero. Don't know why. This just does it for some reason. Anyway, let's get in this. Well, I'll go to this but it's this car. Oh, oh dear. Did it put out? Or... Let's put it there. Oh, just cut out. Three. We're back in business. How about in reverse? What is it like in reverse? Um, let's put it Oh, it's cut out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Looking good. Takes a massive box off of me now. That one fixed. Uh, how many inches have I got left to fix now? Uh, one, two, um, since I've got four hundred inches left to fix, so it's not too bad. Anyway, it's good to have you back. And let's do what I should be really been doing and put you behind some coaches, which I, I have already tested this before though, all of this, but I haven't tested any coaches behind it, so this will be the first time you've seen coaches. Uh, and also got some right good coaches, like blown custom coaches, I've got now, because obviously uh, this was unoperational when the blown custom coaches arrived, and now, as it's now operational with the blown custom coaches there, therefore I'll just use them and also uh as is, I think it's still underpowered but I'll just check where I put the coaches on uh quickly before you see them. Uh so anyway let's get some coaches on behind it. Okay so here we have Battle of Britain down to the track. Well again yeah, and there's the track we have three coaches. Now I have had to take, um, replace the back coach for both of this coach because it's just um all the bottom custom coaches. Because they just uh, well, it, it just kept decoupling onto the room. Uh, I don't do with, with, with the um, board couplings. And the fact that, that they're slightly different, so one's like sort of hooked and the other one's like probably a bumpy one. 
Anyway, let's get the Battle Bros going. So, this is the juice. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. And there it goes. Let's fire it around the track. Push it down. Oh dear, there's a realm of that. There she comes. And there she goes. There she comes. And I'll look at it. So it's finally absolutely well, a time again when the Battle Britain is back and running. I've waited for this moment for a very, very long time and now it's, now it's finally back. So I thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to put, put down in the comments what you thought of the Battle of Britain and how, well, well what, what, what would you like to see also in future videos. And oh dear, you're over there. Uh, and I'll see you next time for some more boring videos. Uh, there will be a, a few more in later life. Right, come on, everyone.